Home again, home again. What's the temperature out there, Rex? 35 degrees at 8 o'clock. Saturday, February 11th, 35. <laughs> Let's see. That is 44 degrees warmer than seven days ago. We'll take it. <laughs> Not even freezing. It's the winter of the continuous thaw. I'm trying to get by the wind. Does that work? Watch the gull. Having breakfast down there on the rocks. Get some cold air advection clouds. Still too windy. Coming over here. Way too windy. But down here. In the sun. Can you see the sun? Where is it? It's up there somewhere. It's a nice day. It's a nice weekend. Cold air advection simply is weather jargon uh, for wind that's cold coming in. On Mount Washington last night, the wind gusted to 108 miles per hour. <laughs> so this morning we do start off with some wind hold issues at some of the ski areas. And those wind hold issues are gonna ease this afternoon as the isobars begin to space out. Harry Bird told me that he shoots out in the wind every morning, he uses an earbud that works with a microphone. I'm gonna get one, Harry, thanks for the tip. For now though, I'm just gonna try and hide. Advection means moving in, and it's air moving and that's wind, and we all talk about it all the time. High pressure comes in, when that high pressure goes off to your south, it reverses and turns real nice. So a fairly chilly day today. At the mountains, the wind hold issues will ease. We picked up uh, three to five inches of snow on the Northern Green Mountains last night. So it's a nice ski day. Speaking of ski weather, tomorrow looks gorgeous. Why don't we all head over to Wachusett Mountain in Princeton, Massachusetts and help the Crowley family raise money for PSP. David Crowley. Skiing is his life, now rides in a sit-ski. David has PSP, he's still out there riding and tomorrow there's gonna to be a race and a fundraiser for David and Mass General to help research this degenerative neurological disease. And even if we can't show up at the mountain, uh, we can donate online. Uh, but if we do show up at the mountain, it's a gorgeous day. The sun is out, the wind is light. Temperature starts off in the upper 20s, goes up into the low and mid 40s in the afternoon. Just gorgeous. Almost a taste of spring skiing. There's a warm front going by tomorrow night. And then there's going to be a wave coming along that front. Some snow showers north. Monday night to Tuesday. Looks like a powder day at Jay on Tuesday. At the same time, there's one winter storm warning in all of the United States. Greenville, South Carolina, National Weather Service says winter storm warning tomorrow night. That low pressure system coming out of the Gulf of Mexico may clip Cape Cod and the islands with a little nor'easter here on Monday. And those two fronts, the one north and the one south, are separate entities on Monday night, but they're gonna join on together uh, to our northeast on Tuesday. So another batch of cold air comes in, not too cold, Tuesday night and Wednesday. And then high pressure is gonna build out over the Western Atlantic, a Bermuda high pressure system late in the week. Big picture pattern, a couple of waves coming out of the Gulf of Mexico and then a powerhouse of a storm going to our west Thursday night and Friday. So right on schedule, here comes a warm front Thursday heavy wind and strong rain and maybe even a thunderstorm Thursday night and Friday, we may have record high temperatures again, second Friday in a row. Yesterday, as I was driving back from Northern Vermont, where it was snowing on top of Mount Mansfield first thing yesterday morning, I was watching the snowpack shrink and the ice in the side of the roads. Felt more like March when I was looking, getting uh, uh, tips from friends that was 65 degrees from New Bedford to South Dennis yesterday record high temperatures yesterday. We're gonna do it again next Friday. It seems like a Friday thing. And then the next Friday afternoon, next Friday afternoon front looks serious. Heavy wind and refreeze and 
uh, unfortunately, I don't see as much snow with that, but that's still a long way away. That's a, a seven day forecast. And there is some Arctic air around, but it doesn't look like it wants to come down and hold. But if the pattern dictates what happened in November, December, and January happens in February, it would be the last 10 days of February, winter comes back. So it's kind of on break, but still it's not boring. I mean, there's still fresh snow out there this morning. And again, Tuesday night, uh, pretty nice week before that. Not boring, that's for sure. So maybe we'll see you at Wachusett tomorrow. Gorgeous day. Leave you with some scenes of uh, what felt more like a ride home in March <laughs> yesterday afternoon than February. But winter's far from over. All right. Hope you could hear this over the wind. Talk to you later. It's probably not going to happen, <laughs> just to let you know. Uh, when till death to his part was invented, death was pretty imminent. That Americans are hyper status conscious, so they know that they can sell you a ton of stuff.